Well, a, in the end, a disappointing afternoon to finish the season. Yeah, it's left a little bit of a sour taste in the mouth, especially at the minute. Anyway, it's still a bit raw. Um, we've we've gifted them two goals. Obviously, the second one I'm personally at fault for and disappointed with. The first one's a set piece, so we know we could have done a lot better. Scott East Bay was out early on with a penalty save, so we didn't really create too much either. But in the grand scheme of things, it's it don't. Obviously, it matters. It's a game of football, and they all matter. But at the end of the day, we've done the job what we wanted to do when the gaffer came in. We've done that with a few weeks to spare, really. And now we're just building and trying to improve for next season. So it has left a bit of a sour taste in the, in the mouth. But hopefully, within a within a week or so, I can we can get it out of his head and start looking to next season. And it has been an unusual season because, as you say, the big picture is fantastic. Uh, everyone would have said Cheltenham Town finishing 16 points clear in the bottom two would be a terrific result. Yet, if you look at this calendar year, it's four points from 30 away from home, which is in such contrast to the home form. How do you explain that? Yeah, we've obviously just, just spoke about that in there, and I think it's probably a we think it's a mentality thing, which which is a, strange, a tough one to put your finger on, really, because the standards have up so much in a day to day basis, and we've started to demand so much from each other that. The, it's still a grass pitch and it's still every 11 players so it doesn't matter where you're playing wherever at home I think the home form it's been a com obviously a complete contrast which is it's tough to put your finger on but obviously we need to know that if we, if we want to achieve what we do next season then we need to get the away form in line with the home form so that'll be something we'll be definitely looking at And when you say mentality what do you mean? Um, I think there's times there's different stages in games where we where we probably don't make the right decisions um, little bits of we've gone 1-0 down and then we're trying to play out from the back and stuff and we're trying to play out from the back early on giving them giving them giving them opportunities where I think sometimes we've got a we obviously we've started to create a decent brand of football but I think we need to know when to do it and when to just sort of bank in and just be horrible and I think being being tough to beat and more resilient in spells of a game where where we can end up coming out with results what we probably shouldn't have with on the grand scheme of play we need to win ugly a bit more I think really. If you think about your own situation where you've been at the club since January 2017 you've seen a lot of players come and go but next season with all the people you've already signed on they're going to walk back into dressing room you're going to know a lot more players than perhaps most of your fellow League 2 professionals are going to do when they come back to their club. Yeah, and hopefully that'll, that'll work in our favour because we've had, um, under the gaffer now, we've had a good six months, maybe a bit longer. It is a bit longer, isn't it? But um, hopefully that we all know what to expect from him and he knows what he's going to get from us. So if we can hit the ground running, then you never know what can happen. But I think the gaffer, we know where the gaffer's going to work and we know what he's going to demand of us. And we're all willing and buying in 100% to what he's doing. So I think that can only be a good thing and we've got to capitalise on that now. And if you think about the, uh, the back five, potentially, you know, the team that played together, obviously Chris Hussey, not available, uh, Charlie Wagner not yet contracted to the club for, for next season, but everyone else is actually under contract, so the defensive solidity should be there because you've played together so much. Yeah, and it, that takes continuous work on the training ground, the gaffer immediately as soon as he came in, started drilling us and as a unit I think you can see that that's although today one to create one of the greatest example but I think as a unit we've definitely improved but that comes from comes from the front the organization of the team has come on tenfold from this time last year when I when I were here and and before that and obviously the start of the season so I think that can only develop further given the guidance that we've been given and the attitude we apply to it we can we can keep improving that but we know there's a lot of work to do and we, we can't settle for 16th next season and we're not going to, so we need to keep working, work even harder and look to improve, work a bit smarter if possible. So, yeah. In what way do you think the organisation's improved? I think it's, it's made, the gaffer's made stuff crystal clear, he's simplified the game, he knows, we all know his roles in possession, we all, we've worked through patterns, so we, we know when we've got the ball in this position, what pat three or four passes should be on. And our first pass is, for an example, as he always wants us to play wide, really, without giving too many secrets away. Although next season's a long I think time we can away. Work that out. Yeah, but um, and defensively, we, as a unit, he's worked on getting across the pitch so quickly. It's sort of prevention, really. 
rather than last ditch defending it's getting in the right positions early doing your work early so that you don't have to do as much defending like closing gap shutting space and obviously gap has played at the top level where if you don't do that you get punished so we need to learn that obviously we got away over a few today as well as conceding two that if we can limit teams in this league then hopefully that should stand us in good stead and recognising you don't want to critical event for anybody but do you feel the club is in a better stage, a better state, I should say, at this stage now than it was this time last year? This has obviously been a season of transition throughout the club. Uh, and now, like you say, going into next season, it looks like there's going to be some continuity and a positive feeling around the club. So I think that can, that can only be positive. And uh, there's certainly a lot of optimism for next season, but we need to we need to make sure that we capitalise on that and follow through with that. So, yeah. What's the dominant emotion for a professional football at the end of, at the end of the season? That's it. 46 league games, number of cup games is gone. Um, not back in pre-season training for what? What's the dominant emotion? Speaking speaking personally, which is all I can do really, is it's a little bit strange really. You're going home and then you you're not going into training Monday. You obviously you think about the game Saturday like normal, but we have a debrief on a Monday or a Tuesday normally. So then you park that one and you look into the next one. But to have, you have sort of a six or seven weeks really to dwell on the last game, which you don't want to do. So you have to park it yourself. But it's it's strange really. Some players might say relieved, others might say they want the season to go on. I think it depends on your your individual like circumstances what you're in at the minute. But at the minute, I think. I, don't, I wouldn't mind if the season would carry on to be honest but obviously you take the break and you look for next season so you look for improvements over the summer What's Will Bill going to do over the summer? Um, I'll go away a couple of holidays with my girlfriend so I'm looking forward to that it should be nice to spend a bit of quality time with her and um, see a little bit of the world maybe hopefully and then obviously I'll be working hard and looking to improve physically more than anything so hopefully next season I can carry on improving Thanks so much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, mate.